Hi and welcome to this introduction course to ASP.NET 5. This course will be divided into a couple of mini-series where we'll take a look at ASP.NET 5 part by part. In this first lesson, we're going to take a look at the frameworks. We're going to learn about the runtimes and the command line utilities and talk about DNVM, DNX and DNU. If you're using Visual Studio as, as your IDE, you'll probably don't need to know about these command line utilities if everything works as expected. But I recommend that you take a look at these commands anyway. So what does DNVM stand for? DNVM stands for .NET Version Manager. And if we run the command, we, we get the help and we get a couple of commands that we can run. To upgrade the, the version of the .NET framework, you just run DNVM Upgrade and it will install the latest version of the runtime and reassign the specific alias to the new runtime. Let's take a look at which runtimes I have installed on my computer. We do so by passing in list as an argument and we can see that we have the latest beta at the moment of this recording installed. And we have the CLR version and the core CLR version. The core CLR is a portable version of the .NET runtime. So we can, we can change which uh, runtime we are targeting by simply running the dmvm use command. For instance, if we'd like to target the core CLR version of the beta 8, we can do so by saying dmvm use 1.0.0 slash beta slash 8. And we can tell it that the runtime will be core CLR. And we want the architecture to be x64. Right, and we can immediately see that I mistyped the beta. So by doing this, we set uh, the process path to use the following uh, path. And if we use the DNX executor here and check the version, we can see that we, we are using the version that I just set, the core CLR version, x64. If we run DMVM list again, we can see that we have an asterisk for the core CLR version of x64, which means that we're using that one. But if you open a new command prompt, we'll be at the default one. If we want to use that, uh, if we want to use this uh, runtime permanently, we're going to need to pass the the p flag, which also add, adds the path to the user path. So let's create our first Hello World program. Before we do anything else, we're going to start by using the full CLR, and then we're going to switch to the core CLR to see what the differences are. So we're going to run the dmvm use command and pass in the version, set the runtime to CLR, and the architecture, let's say x86. If we just do a sanity check now, check the version, we can see that we're using the correct version. So let's sw switch to Visual Studio Code and create our first program. So the first file that we're going to need is a project.json file. We don't need to fill anything in for now. Um, let's create our first program.cs. And if we switch back to the command prompt now, we don't actually need to compile anything. This will use Roslyn and do an in-memory compiling without, without actually needing to write any files to disk. So let's type dnx run. And we can see that we got an error because we need to specify which runtime frameworks that we want to be able to compile for. So let's switch back to project.json. So we can get IntelliSense here from Visual Studio Code. You can see we need we can specify frameworks. Then we're gonna use the .NET 451 framework, and we're not gonna need to specify any dependencies here. And if we switch back to the command prompt now, let's clear this and do the same thing. We get a new error that tells us that we need to run the new restore to restore our NuGet packages. So the DNU stands for .NET Utility, 
and we just run the restore command and if we run the next run now we get hello world so let's find out if this works with the core CLR we're going to use the .NET version manager and we're going to switch to the core CLR version so let's run the same command again and see what happens yes you guessed it we've already seen this error error version once so now it tells us that the current uh, target framework is dnx core 5.0 and uh, and the framework is not compatible with the project json file so let's switch back to a project json file and make it compatible so we're going to need to find a new framework here that we can support and we're gonna tell it that we want the core version and let's see what happens when we run the application now So once again, we're going to need to run DNU restore. And that was expected because the DNX core version doesn't know how to write the console out of the box. So we're going to need to add a NuGet package for this. We do that by specifying our dependencies here. And we're going to get system.console and we actually get auto completion here. And we can tell it to take whichever beta is available for this. And now we could go ahead and restore from Visual Studio Code, or we can switch back to the console and do a restore again. And we downloaded our new NuGet package. And now hopefully we'll be able to run targeting the core CLR instead. So let's revisit what we learned. We learned about the runtimes that uh, they are actually just a matter of folders sitting on your disk, and it's easy to deploy them side by side and, and switch between which runtime you're targeting with the DMVM command line utility, which stands for .NET Version Manager. And we can use DNX, that stands for .NET Executor, to execute our code, and DNU stands for .NET utility and we can use it to restore our NuGet packages and build. So for the next lesson we're gonna scaffold an ASP.NET 5 project using Yeoman and the ASP.NET 5 generators and we're gonna use VS Code to explore the code that it's generated for us.